Andrea Egan. I'm the principal here at Phoebe Hearst. It is my sheer pleasure to welcome Phoebe Hearst families back to school, particularly new kindergarten families. We have not had kindergarten at Phoebe Hearst since 1976. Also, I'm honored to have distinguished local and state leadership representatives on our beautiful site this morning. It's very exciting for our school community to be able to showcase our new green classrooms fresh new kindergarten rooms, and this native plant outdoor learning space you're sitting in this morning. I want to particularly thank all the people who worked incredibly hard to get school ready, especially my staff and district project man managers. Finally, I want to thank our parent-teacher organization and Selen's Market Cafe for sponsoring the morning volunteer coffee, which you are all invited to attend this morning. With that, I'd like to introduce Superintendent Raymond, who fully supported this renovation. Welcome, Superintendent Raymond. Thank you, Andrea, and good morning, everybody. It's so great to see everyone back. Uh, I know I was a little excited and nervous going to sleep last night, uh, first day, and I have three in my household starting back into school today, so we're, we're all excited to be here. I get to say some thank yous and to recognize our distinguished guests that are here today. First, um, Senator uh, uh, President Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg, really appreciate you being here today. Uh, Kula Kong, District uh, Director for Assemblyman Roger Dickinson, is supposed to be with us. Sacramento <laughs> County. Okay, there you are. Okay. Sacramento <laughs> County Supervisor Phil Cerner is here. Uh, Sacramento City Councilman Steve Cohn is uh, uh, supposed to join us. We have our Board President uh, here today, Diana Rodriguez. Um, and two of our Vice Presidents, Vice President Daryl Wu and Vice President uh, Jeff Cuneo. We have um, uh, Trustee Patrick Kennedy here with us today. Um, our Sacramento City Teachers Association President Scott Smith, uh, SEIU President Crawford Johnson, and recommending, uh, I should say, here with our Sacramento Council of PTAs, Curry, uh, Curry Mayor. We're really appreciative of everyone being here today. Thank you. Um, Give them a hand. Thank you. And we're especially, especially thankful to see all of our families and our students here today. It's always great. You can't have schools without students. So we're really, really excited to have you back. And particularly, we want to welcome our kindergarten families and our, our, our new kindergarten students. It's exciting to welcome you back here to Phoebe Hurst. And I know how exciting kindergarten is. I have a, uh, a five-year-old of my own starting kindergarten today. So very exciting day. We're it's a wonderful opportunity for us to give your child this kind of quality learning environment here at Phoebe Hearst. And we're working really hard uh, to mitigate um, all of the cuts that have happened in public education in California um, by maintaining high quality schools. Um, great schools start with great leadership. So we're really pleased to have an outstanding principal like Ms. Egan here. And of course, her great team of teachers and staff. Let's give them all a great hand as well. You know, there's, there's nothing more important, and the most important members of our society are our children, and, and, and there's no profession more important than teaching, so the combination are right here. And everyone's job in this district is, is to support those students and our teachers, and I think it was so evident um, these past few weeks all around our district as staff worked tirelessly, uh, uh, long days and, and weekends to get our schools ready, and you, here you see it today. Of course, though, we need our great parents, and it's so nice to see so many of them back here today. And with our reduced funding, we're going to need your support more than ever. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't, to please consider volunteering at your campuses. Uh, come into your classrooms. Join any of your parent organizations in your PTAs. Chaperone field trips. Try to work in our school cafeterias in any way you can, because we can't afford to have anyone on the sidelines this year. It's that important. Um, we continue to move forward, and we're not standing still. And we're working hard to raise the level of learning in our schools by introducing the new Common Core State Standards in, in all of our schools. We're also continuing to make our schools as healthy as possible for our children and our staff. And the new building behind me is a great example of that work. Instead of taking something and building it from scratch, we actually repurposed these four portables, uh, they were at uh, facilities not being used. And that alone makes them, uh, makes these buildings green. 
The other green features include new solar tubes. You can actually um, have class without putting any lights on. That's how efficient they are. Dual uh, pane tinted windows, high tech displacement air conditioning and heating units. And this car corrugated metal siding makes the insulation that much better. And of course, you're sitting in our new outdoor classroom all with native plants, which are low water landscaping. Um, they'll take a little bit of time to grow in, but once they do, that's when we turn the water off. Funding for these great projects came from a Measure I, which was passed in 2002. So the last remaining bond, bond funds that the district had has gone into these projects. And we have two new measures on the ballot this November, Measures Q and Measures R. And together with this funding, it will allow our school district to implement much needed maintenance projects and to really renovate and to propel our schools that much further. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our Senate President, Daryl Steinberg. Please give him a warm hand and welcome him to Phoebe. Thank you very much, Superintendent Raymond. Uh, what a pleasure to be here. You know, you know what they call the first day of school? A parent's favorite day. Um, it's actually one of my favorite days of the year because to me it represents new beginnings. It's the end of summer, it's the beginning of fall, you feel it in the air. Uh, everybody is excited to get going again. And I'm especially proud to represent the Sacramento City Unified School District under the leadership of Jonathan Raymond and the school board because this is a district that has continued to forge ahead, has continued to innovate, has continued to find ways to invest even in these most difficult of times where at the state level Unfortunately, we have made cuts after cuts after cuts due to the, the national and international recession. Those times are just about to end, I hope and believe. And I know we're on a public uh, school campus, but I would not be a politician worth my office if I didn't say to all the parents out there, as hard as you have organized to beautify Phoebe Hurst Elementary School over the last weeks, please work as hard to pass Proposition 30 in November because the schools need the money, $6 billion worth of funding for public education. And Sac City will benefit a lot. We need to end the bleeding and start reinvesting again. I just want to wish everybody a wonderful school year to continue with this spirit of can-do to celebrate these great achievements like what you've done with with energy efficiency which by the way saves a lot of money as well for the school and the district you have a lot to be proud of here let's keep going forward it is now my honor and pleasure to introduce the president of the school board, Diana Rodriguez. Diana? Good morning, Phoebe Hurst. How's everyone doing today? Good. I don't hear that excitement. Let's hear it from the kids. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. All righty. So I just want to come up here and say a big heartfelt welcome back to school and um, I hope the first day is um, as good as every day of the rest of the year for you and I want to echo the comments both by our superintendent and Senate Pro Tem President uh, Daryl Steinberg um, you know about the funding but we also as Sacramento City Unified School District have bond measures that we have on the ballot as well and so all of the beautification that happened at this school, we would love to have it, have it happen as well at other elementary schools and high schools, middle schools throughout our district. So we ask for your help as well. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce your board representative and our vice president of the board, Mr. Jeff Cunio.
Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm very excited to be here at Phoebe Hurst this morning. I had a chance to tour the campus last week, and obviously everybody can see the wonderful things that are being done at Phoebe Hurst. Um, Phoebe Hurst has always been a jewel for our community. It's always been a great school where our kids can go to, get a great education, and move on in life. And we're also very excited to have an addition this year. We have a new kindergarten class um, for the first time, as Ms. Egan said, since the 70s, I believe. Um, and so it just adds to the mix here in our community, the educational opportunities that our children can have. There's also, the district's also been working hard, um, and I've been working hard to increase educational opportunities for our community. We are going to begin in a year an international baccalaureate pathway in East Sacramento. Uh, the baccalaureate pathway will be a kindergarten through 12 pathway. It will be at Caleb Greenwood and Kit Carson. And we believe uh, very strongly that this will be a very good thing for our community. It will allow children to get a wonderful public education uh, in its own backyard, going to school with their, their friends um, from six years old to 18 years old. But I would also be remiss if I, if I didn't mention we, we can't do this without adequate funding. Um, and this fall we're going to have some choices to make at the ballot. And as a school board member, over the last two years, I've seen the drastic cuts that have been made to public education and to the classroom. And without increased funding, without adequate funding, the kinds of opportunities that we want for our children will not be available. So I would, I would urge you to think about public education when you go to the ballot this fall and vote for not only the propositions but the bonds that will be on the ballot. And I'd now I'd like to introduce the District Director for Assemblyman Roger Dickerson, Kula Koenig. Good morning, everyone. So in an effort to be green, I have my talking points on my phone. I uh, did not print out any paper. <laughs> all right. So good morning, all. As you said, my name is Kula Koenig, and I am the new district director for Assembly Member Roger Dickinson. And I share something with the students here today. It's actually my first official day on the job. So everything that you're feeling about starting school, I'm feeling about starting this job. I'm excited, I'm apprehensive, but there's a lot of things to be done and, and, and I'm just, it's great to be here and start uh, my new job with you and welcome uh, families and students to an exciting first day of school. Uh, the assembly member sends his regrets that he cannot be here. He's actually serving us as a delegate at the Democratic National Convention in Charlotte. I think I still may have a better deal though, being here with you all. Um, but he wanted me to tell you that this occasion really embodies uh, three issues that are very near and dear to his heart. Community development, education, and environmental sustainability. You know, whether it's been ensuring that, you know, we have clean air and water, or that our communities are filled with renewable energy, or that our young people have available to them the programs that they need to succeed, Assemblymember Roger Dickinson has been a tireless advocate for youth development and for the environment. This is a man who wholeheartedly believes in our public education system, since it is what educated him from kindergarten through college. And, you know, he would acknowledge the tough times that's going on in public education right now, but he would also say that he is so proud of Sac City Schools, of this school, for really being innovative, despite all of the tough economic problems that we face in public education. It's really a great example of what we can do. You know, I think with these remodeled uh, green classroom, we show the students here that being green is not just something that we talk about, it's actually something that we do. And that is an amazing, amazing lesson to teach our young people that we put actions behind our words and they can really learn something and, and keep following suit. So this is just really a great example uh, and I'm so glad to be here. Um, I think Roger's gonna be really jealous though because I'm gonna have to take pictures and, and send it to him and I'd say, look where I got to see today and you missed out. Um, so again, I thank you for this opportunity and uh, without further ado, I wanna introduce someone that Roger knows very well um, and you know, a partner, he's been a partner with Roger in making a better Sacramento, uh, County Supervisor Phil Cerna. Thank you.
Thank you very much, and good morning, and uh, welcome to the first day of class here at Phoebe Hearst. I'm uh, certainly honored to be uh, part of this uh, uh, this contingent here that uh, I think has already expressed uh, the true investment in uh, in our kids here in our community. Uh, in addition to serving on the County Board of Supervisors, I also have the honor of serving as the chair of the Sacramento First Five Commission. So ensuring the general wealth, welfare of our youngest uh, residents here in our community uh, is of paramount uh, import to me, and that's why I'm delighted to be here uh, this morning to welcome you. Um, and at the risk of sounding like a, uh, an extended political commercial, uh, I do, I do want to uh, plug yet again and emphasize yet again uh, the need for um, uh, aggressive support for measures Q and R, which will be on your November 6th uh, ballot. I'm honored to be one of three co-chairs of the Q&R committee. And uh, just remember uh, that the, the Q in Q&R is quality and the R is repairs. If you can remember those two things and support the, uh, the bond measures, um, uh, we would all sincerely appreciate it. The kids would uh, sincerely appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance to see these classrooms, they are um, emblematic of what we can do with those new bond uh, proceeds in the future. Uh, that is to have more energy efficiency in our classrooms, uh, less toxics in our classrooms. Uh, these are certainly examples of uh, a classroom space that uh, don't resemble anything like when I went to Bret Hart Elementary School uh, several decades ago, I guess. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, uh, uh, again, thank you for being here. I want to uh, introduce uh, Curry Mayor with the Sacramento Council of PTAs. Good morning, my name is Curry Mayer and I represent the Sacramento County Council of PTAs. I'm very excited to be here. I always loved the first day of school and I have a, um, a now college student and a high school freshman. Um, now more than ever with all the budget cuts, it's really important for uh, each school to have a strong parent-teacher association. So it's fitting that we would be here at Phoebe Hearst as you may not know, Phoebe Hurst was the founder of PTA some 115 years ago, and this school has been a strong parent-teacher association school for the last 58 years. So it's really critical that parents, teachers, and superintendents, um, administrators of, at all levels continue to work together so in spite of the budget cuts, we're able to offer all of our children a quality education. So thank you for being here and for supporting your school. Superintendent Raymond back. Don't worry, I'm not going to advocate for those measures. We've already heard it. <laughs> but please support those measures. Um, it's a, I want to thank everyone for coming out today and for all of your help and support. And, and again, to remind everybody, this is going to be an exciting year. Um, we don't let challenges get in our way. Um, we simply find ways to overcome them. And we do that by working hard together. And all we've asked and all we ask is, is our students is that every, every day work hard to be your best. And if, and if we all do that, everything's going to take care of the rest. So thank you, everybody, and let's have a great school year. Appreciate, again, all of our special guests coming and being here with us today. Thank you very much for your support.